How has the field of system identification grown over time? I started to do research in system identification uh, 1970. That's a long time ago. It's probably 46 years ago, or 44 years ago. Uh, and um, then the tr development since then has been tremendous, mostly on the hardware side. We, our compute computation is uh, extremely much faster, and of course collecting data with all the sensors we have becomes much, much more uh, important. We can, we can be easily drown in data that we can't, but ha don't have time to handle. So that is a big thing that has happened over the 40 years. Better access to compu computing power and better access to data. And that has uh, made some traces in what you use. I mean, in the 70s and 80s and early 90s, you basically used these squares and spectral analysis founded in uh, statistical practice. That was what you, what, you, what you can do, that what, what the computers could do. Nowadays, we get more and more, we can spend more and more time in computation, uh, employ more uh, uh, complicated models because it takes a longer time to estimate them, but we have that time now in our computers. And we see continued trend into more, say, computational heavy estimation using particle filters and other devices like, devices like that. It takes, it takes long time. But we can do that quickly now on, on our, on our uh, new computers. And that's why I think we will see a com continuous transformation of, of the, of the uh, topic, allowing heavier heavy computations and the techniques for, for, uh, for that. What are the common grounds between system identification and machine learning? And with respect to big data, what are the challenges that both areas are facing? Well, machine learning, as you said, is a buzzword. And it's a very catchy term. And uh, I don't like the term learning because you don't really learn when you estimate things. You get, get an idea of what, what, what it could look like. Learning is something you really learn, then, then it, that's the truth. But um, uh, anyway, what, what the, whatever the term is, I think that uh, machine learning really, its core is very uh, well established within uh, modern statistics. Uh, as a fact, it's that, that, that was that the um, well-known statisti statisticians wrote, you start to use the term learning that really make, make the term catch up. And I have full respect for all these techniques for, say, function estimation using machine learning. They have some very fi fine ideas uh, how to approach it. Many of them don't really apply to system identification as such. But I have recently learned, learned uh, that uh, the uh, ideas within um, uh, Gaussian process function estimation is quite useful for, for you be, be used in, in system identification. And I added some new commands, impulse test and other things that really employ regularization, which is really what takes place in uh, machine learning, with this machine learning technique. So in that, in that, that's a point where machine learning and system identification overlaps. And I think we have got some routines that are, uh, ha have a niche in dealing with, with data. Uh, that, that, that I picked up from a machine learning community. Where do you see system identification in another 40 years? I think we will see much more uh, efforts in heavy computational work. They use, uh, say, particle filters and other techniques like that, Monte Carlo simulations, uh, to estimate nonlinear functions in a non parametric way. So you can approach the problem without any prejudice about the structures you're going to see. In 40 years, that, that, that I'm sure that will, that will happen quite a bit.